Right when I hit start stream, I had to sprint over to the door to get a package that arrived. Oh, hey, hey everyone. Is life not actively kicking you down right now? Because that's the best we can hope for. Also, Eric, uh, you already, you think you already announced that last stream? I think you did too. But either way, thank you. It still means a lot. It still helps. I hope everyone's doing functionally the best they can be given that uh <clears throat> oh wow it's almost march again we're almost into a full year of pandemic in the u.s uh and plenty of other places in the world have already hit that mark oh oh god good god damn where did you get into a car crash kraz did that happen Right, let me let me uh let me swap the uh stream over oh <sighs> i'm drinking coffee now kraz tell me about this car crash who who did you crash what did you do what did you do kraz what did you do <laughs> it's probably not your fault but i'm just messing a car I, I don't have like a soundboard. I, I should get one of those stream decks and uh, it's actually just one giant button that plays air horn uh, But it doesn't because that's really loud and annoying and it's not funny anymore But I do have it there to tempt me at all times You weren't driving don't worry. Have I ever been in a car crash? I've been I, I we've crashed into a snowbank But that doesn't really count uh, and I've been in a lot of near misses, and vehicles I have been in have been in many, 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 many a car accident. But, never, I was never involved in any of them that can be proven. <sighs> so, I wanted to stream today because I want to talk about a couple of things. I want to talk about the, uh... I want to talk about upcoming video, as well as the previous video, and where I've been at, like, mentally and financially. I don't have a ton of time. I have about an hour, and then I gotta go. But I, I still thought it would be cool to uh, just chill with y'all. <sighs> so, uh, next video, I think I mentioned this in the previous stream, is going to be about a way out. Uh, Austin and I are gonna finish recording that today uh, We need to get through the other half of the game. We had to play the first half of the game again because We have it set up so um, uh, I have a television over there. I use for ring fit mostly uh, and We had it set up so we had our chairs set up over there and I had my computer monitor plugged into the TV to play a way out uh, so I didn't notice because my computer setup is not visible from sitting over there that uh, OBS had crashed about 12 minutes into the recording uh, and we played for like three hours and then uh, come back and I'm like oh shit but uh, so we 
that, that delayed it, and also getting extremely sick and having uh, my dentist appointment, my root canal spread out over a couple of days, uh, delayed it, but I'm working on it. All right, now Kraz. So, you were with your bro going to the store, and we saw, on the way we saw a cat almost get run over by another car, so your brother s slowed down, and the car behind you was too busy looking at the cat, and you noticed slow slowing down and rammed into you. Okay, so I would say that is most definitely not your brother's fault. Uh, cause... Like, the driver behind you also noticed the entire event that was happening up at the front. But, uh, uh, the driver back there did nothing about it. So, you're good. I don't know if they're gonna sue you. I don't know how it works in, in, in France. In, in the States... You are lucky if you get into a minor fender bender. Oh, I have been into a car crash. That's right. It was a fender bender, just a minor one. Um, we uh, This happened uh, a couple months ago. Uh, Austin and I in the parking lot of a Walgreens uh, pulling out of the parking lot. Someone else was pulling out uh, in Austin's blind spot. And me, being the dumbass I am, said, Austin, look out. That doesn't help at all. I, I, I could have told him, like, stop, slam on the brakes, or, uh, I'd like anything other than, look out! So, uh, two of us, like, crash into each other a bit, and then we look over at the car, and we see a fuck ton of damage on the car, like, it's dented all to hell, the back is, like, totally ruined, and we're like, oh shit, what did we do? Like, and then we look at our, our vehicle, and there's, like, a tiny crack in the, in the, Tail light that's and the tail light still works fine. It's just a tiny crack. That's it. And we go up to the lady and we're like, "Oh my god, we're so sorry." And then this lady comes up and says, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry." And she turned out to be super nice, super sweet. She was wearing a Naruto T-shirt, <laughs> and she said to us, "Like, oh no, don't worry, you didn't cause that damage. I was in a car accident a while ago. The car has been like this. I don't think you actually did any damage." <laughs> It turns out that all of that was there before. All of that all of that was there before. Uh and we were good. And she was worried that we were going to be like demand her insurance information and we were worried she was going to do the same for us and like both of us were like we got a couple of scratches and that's about it. We're good. It's fine. <laughs> Person who rammed into you was chill. Okay, that's good to hear at least. Uh so, I want, I want to talk about, more about this fucking Doom video. <laughs> so, if you're watching this video, or this, uh, stream in the future, or if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, a couple weeks ago, I made a video titled, Why I Think Doom Eternal is Worse Than Doom 2016. And, it's, uh, been my most successful video in months and months and months. In five months, it's been my most successful video. The last video I had that did well was uh, Half-Life Alex uh, talking about Jeff and Half-Life Alex. People are very mad about this Doom video, <laughs> and they have been for a while. The Doom. Uh, currently, it's sitting at 666 likes, which is fucking choice, and 1,000 dislikes. A lot of comments about people telling me why I'm wrong. A lot of people complaining that I'm bad at the game. A lot of people saying I'm playing on easy mode, even though I'm not. Uh, it was, uh... Yeah, people are... People are so... So mad about it. And now a lot of the comments are people disagreeing with me. There are some people who wrote fucking essays about it. In response to my video essay, uh about it, but they're being polite, and I appreciate that. Uh, there's a lot of people who are telling me to kill myself, and there's a lot of people who are, uh, uh, going out of their way to actively misgender me and, and tell me to get good and all that, and, like, whatever, fucking, all this shit sucks. But the point I'm trying to make is that I made this video about this opinion that I have held since the release of Doom Eternal. Uh, you can go back and watch my now one-year-old almost 
Doom Eternal review, and my opinion's a little less harsh, but it's pretty much the same of, I just think this this is worse Doom 2016. And, uh, the problem is that that video was labeled as just Doom Eternal review, just of Doom Eternal. And this one, I needed a video to do well, because I need to pay fucking rent. Uh, this one was labeled as why I think Doom Eternal is worse than Doom 2016, because I knew that would get clicks, and it did. It's the same opinion I held before, although I go into more detail about it, but I, I, I made a clickbait title. I know I did, and I'm not sorry about that. <laughs> like, I've been making a lot of videos I consider pretty good. I'm very happy with my Shenmue video, uh, my 2020 games video, uh, uh, some of my recent reviews I've enjoyed. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Hades video I think was a little rushed, but I, I overall I still think it's fine. And, like, I'm, I am I made some good videos, but they, they're not attention-grabbing, and they're not topical per se. The Hades video was a bit topical, but not super considering... That how topical something is is also... Uh, relative to how many people are talking about the thing. Because if it's a super popular game, a super giant game, if you will, uh, then it will become not topical much more quickly because people will burn themselves out on it. So I know this next video I'm going to do isn't going to do well because <laughs> it's going to be a video about a way out, which is not topical. Uh, it came out over two years ago, but I I want to make a positive video about a game I really like, so that's what's coming next. It's going to get two and a half thousand views at most. It's not going to take off, and all the comments are going to be blocked comments because I finally got sick of having to filter them and just disabled Payday in my comments of people saying go back to Payday, and that's just the way it's going to be, but it's going to be a video I really enjoy, so... Like, it's, it's fine. And I'm still, for the time being, making enough off of uh, residual ad revenue from old Payday videos and the occasional video that, like, Smash takes off to, uh, to stay afloat. I just need to occasionally stimulate it with a video with a really hot take or a really basic take. You can probably see every now and again when I do that I did the same thing with my uh, Half-Life 2 video. That's a very hot take about a game I really like. Um, and I got a lot of views as a result. I did the same thing with my uh, uh, Metal Gear Survive video. Although I, most people agree that game is trash. But it was a very negative video because negativity gets fucking clicks. Every now and again I'll get a really positive video that'll do very well. Uh, the Portal Stories Mel video. But the trick there is that I titled it in a negative way. I titled the closest we'll ever get to Portal 3 in kind of a derogatory sense towards Valve. And that got a lot of attention. It's frustrating because I like to make positive videos, but occasionally I just have to throw a fucking spicy take out there. I appreciate that, Stan. Thank you. Yeah, I gotta, gotta pay the bills, exactly. Isn't it chill that February is shorter than every other month, but rent still costs the same? Isn't that fucking nice? Thank you. Please watch my modern videos. I put a lot of work into them. I... I, I have, like, a text document that I have a bunch of video ideas in. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go clear this out now, uh, because there are some things I've decided I'm not going to do, either because other people have done this already, or it's too big of an undertaking, or... or just, like, decided, eh, not really feeling that. So let me, let me pull up, uh, here we are. Okay, so... Still gonna do that. Still gonna do that. So I'm not gonna say the ones I know I'm gonna do. Uh, do I, I don't know if you can see my the reflection of my glasses. The the text document. 
yeah, I'm gonna delete this. Microsoft buying Minecraft, the greatest business de decision ever laughed at. That, that was a video I wanted to talk about because I remember back when Microsoft first bought Minecraft, a lot of people, a lot of people were like, what the fuck is Microsoft doing? <sighs> Minecraft, that old kitty shit. <sighs> oh, oops, oops, it's, oh, oh shit. Billions, billions of dollars. Billions. Whoops, ha ha ha. And uh, the reason I decided not to do that video is because, first of all, the amount of research it would take into the actual acquisition and dealing with having to talk about and dance around Notch as a human being would have been so goddamn annoying. And I would have, it would have taken so long to do a video that probably wouldn't have done well. Uh... But in the end, I decided I decided not to do it, mostly because uh, modern Minecraft YouTuber culture is a whole thing. Fucking Dream and and Co. All that shit. It's like to each their own. But like they're so. It's so obnoxious. <laughs> the whole thing. And, like, I, I can't be bothered to, to wade into any of that. So I'm not even gonna, not even gonna fucking bother. Let's see. Is Crisis actually good? I had a vi yeah, I was gonna do a video about Crisis. Um, this was, you, you all know the memes about, can you, the PC is good, can it run Crisis? Ha! Huh! But... Uh, the most I'd ever heard people say about Crisis is it's like, it's like, bad Halo. <laughs> so I was curious if the game is actually fun. The reason I didn't do this video is because there was a really awkward period there where the Crisis re-release was happening. Whoa, shit! Uh, alright. I hope this goes towards making passion projects. I just found this $45 in my pocket, and I was wondering if maybe you wanted to make a project that you're more passionate about. <sighs> Thank you so much, Solid Snake. That helps a lot. That's going to go towards rent, which means I'll have more ability to do passion projects. So thank you very much. Like, again, it's chill to watch watch those people. I just don't get it, and I'm not going to get it. I'm never going to get it. I'm never gonna understand, like, Minecraft YouTuber culture, a modern, like, I'm still, I still dip my toes back in occasionally to watch Etho, and I like Kurt J. Mac, and I don't know if Seth Bling is still doing anything. <laughs> Got nothing. Uh, but, uh, I'll get to that in a second, Stan. Uh, the... Uh, Crisis Remake got delayed and then it was kind of a tenuous release date and the problem I had is not only is it difficult to play Crisis on modern PCs ironically enough because it doesn't do well in Windows 10 but uh, if I had released a video about is Crisis good right before a remake came out people would have been like well you should have played the remake and then the remake came out and everyone immediately stopped giving a shit and I was like oh well, okay. It was just an awkward period. It honestly would have been better if the remake wasn't happening, because then I could have just been, like, grabbing a blast from the past and then and then pointing a spotlight at it. Alright, so scrap the, the Titan... The, uh, not the Titanfall video. I might still do a video about Titanfall 2's campaign, because I think it's extremely good, and I, want, I just want an excuse to talk about it. No, I'm not, I'm not touching Duke Nukem Forever with a 10-foot pole. Absolutely goddamn not. Good games with horrible communities. Persona is a good example. Uh, my problem with Persona is that Atlas continues to willingly be transphobic and just awful about queer culture, and they never actually apologize or fix it or do better. I love a lot of what is in the Persona games, but the 
bad things that are in it are so goddamn prominent that it's hard to just ignore it. And also, yes, the community for Persona is... Holy shit. Oh, holy shit. Ugh. Uh, this is a weird video. I might- I, I'm probably still gonna do this at some point, but a, a video about why games still have flickering and, like, flashing seizure lights in them. Like, why we haven't evolved past the need for actively, like, hurting the senses as a gameplay mechanic. Like, I'm not talking about the things like muzzle flash on guns or the like. I'm talking about, like, when Cyberpunk had literal actual seizure lights in it. Why is this still a thing that people do? And then it would probably be a larger discussion about how AAA game development doesn't really give a shit about disabled gamers or people in general. Uh, and th the more often they pretend to do, the more actively harmful it is towards actual disabled gamers. Although, I I'm gonna say that and then put an asterisk on that because there are examples like Microsoft uh, with the adaptability controller. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Genuinely amazing idea, well executed on, good stuff. Nah, I don't wanna bother with Cyberpunk, people will be too mad about that. If I hadn't done this Doom video, maybe, but I don't, I don't wanna one, have to buy Cyberpunk, to two, have to play Cyberpunk, to three, have to talk about Cyberpunk, no. Ugh. Like, the way I see it is just not, not giving those games attention is the best way to go. This is the way out video, which I'm doing. My love-hate relationship with CSGO. I might still do that. Because, like, I love Counter-Strike, gameplay-wise. The community is pretty bad, but it also suffers from just being extremely old. In therapy right now, just stopping by to say hi. Funny enough, I have therapy in, uh, in an hour and a half. That's uh, why I can't be here for too long. Thank you very much, Quip. Thank you very kindly. Uh, but my, my biggest problem with, with Counter-Strike is uh, having to deal with teammates and not being able to disable comms effectively, because if you do that, then you can't really play the game because the entire game is based on callouts and there's no system in place to effectively quickly give callouts like for instance in apex legends there is apex legends i play muted i play with um uh comms muted all the time i don't i don't use them uh because the ping system is so goddamn intuitive that you can just use that for all information and it works fine Good taste there, Connor. Thank you. I'm very happy with these sub notifs. Uh, I might still do that video, though. I, I also had the video idea about talking about how good the ping system in Apex Legends is. Uh, I guess I could combine those two video ideas together to say, like, this would be a very much personally for me thing, but how Apex Legends solved my biggest problem with Counter-Strike. And, like, that's a weird title, but it makes sense if I were to get the video. Uh, I can workshop that. Uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna write that down. How Apex Legends solved my biggest problem with Counter-Strike. There we go. <laughs> I, I thought about doing a video about the uh, weird-ass THQ Game Boy Advanced uh, shovelware games. Like the uh, the Jet Set Radio Game Boy Advance game, the the Herb Sims in the City one, like these games that weren't really games, they they were like weird, like tech demo uh, compilations of other games that existed, and somehow kept getting published over and over and over. Ranking Yakuza games from worst to best. I'm not going to do that video, but I did take the idea with a spin on it for my April Fool's video. So I'm going to be working on that next month. But yeah, like, why bother having flickering lights in modern games at all? I don't understand. I don't- I do not fucking get why. Why people would bother with that. 
So, hey. This one's for all y'all in the States. I mean, you're in the finale of Yacht 5? Hell yeah. Wait until 6 comes out. And probably runs like shit on your computer. Unfortunately. I loved the Yakuza 3, but I understand that. But, alright. Um, for all y'all in the States. The... The stimulus check? Remember that $600 fucking stimulus check we were supposed to get back in December? I never got it! <laughs> I never got it. Never arrived, and they stopped sending them out as of, like, earlier this month. Uh, and we're still waiting on any progress to be made towards the 2000 or, I guess, $1,400 stimula stimulus checks. And, uh, that's part of why things have been so fucking rough for me. Because January is already a rough month for YouTubers. I took January off. Uh. Uh. Because, like, any video I posted, even if it had done well, ad revenue wise, it would have tanked. Uh. And then this, uh, Doom video is doing well view wise, but ad revenue wise, it's also tanking. Although, I wouldn't honestly be surprised if I could chalk that up to a lot of people watching and having ad block. In, like, certain communities, it's just more likely. Take care, see ya! Like the Black Mesa video I did, uh, I I thought about doing a a follow up video to that for the uh, for the like, what do they call it? The complete edition or whatever, uh, of Black Mesa that they have. There's there's a couple of like updates to games that I really like that I kind of want to talk about. Like the Going Under update was really cool, and I want to talk about it. We're on a generation and a DLC, but I just haven't found a good medium to do that yet. But, I'm gonna have to claim that 600 on my taxes, which is cool. <sighs> the bright side, I'll have to pay 600 less in taxes. So the downside is, uh, rent is going to be difficult this month. <laughs> the $45 donation did help a ton, thank you. That, that, makes, it, that makes it easier. <sighs> I've been, uh, playing... Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I didn't watch the Pokemon stream. I slept through it. Uh, but I saw they're using Gen 4... They're doing Gen 4 remakes, and people were really mad about them because Pokemon fans are never happy. Uh, it was something about it being a chibi art style, and then I looked at it, and it looked fine. Whatever. Uh, and yeah, Breath of the Wild, but Pokemon, I, I, I can dig. I can dig. I can absolutely dig. Uh, I'll probably stream that when that comes out. Uh, Gen 4 is my second favorite Gen of Pokemon that I've played, next to Gen 3. And Gen 3, I know that's nostalgia talking. I know that's nostalgia. But, I still really enjoy it. Uh, I'll probably stream the Gen 4, Gen 4 remakes. Because, uh, I want an excuse to stream them. Part of the problem I have with playing Gen 4, I think I've talked about this before. But... Part, part of the problem I had with, with uh, Gen 4 is if you tried playing it on anything other than an original DS or an emulator, uh, the the way that they did 3D models mixed with the sprites, the scaling wouldn't quite work. And, it, like, as you walk, like, buildings would warp and it, it looked really weird because you would play, I'd say, on a, on a 3DS or, like, a 2DS XL, which is what I have, uh, and... Uh, the the screen size was bigger, but it didn't, like, evenly scale. So, it just looked like garbage, and it honestly literally made me nauseous. Like, the warping of the, of the buildings as you moved made me really nauseous playing it. So, uh, playing those games, you have to either play it on an original DS, or playing on an emulator and make sure you scale it, like, correctly to, like, just times two or times three. Like, a number where it will actually... Where everything won't warp as it moves. Like, the pixel count will be even. Uh, that would probably be the same problem I'd have with Gen 5. But I haven't played Gen 5, so I'm not, I can't see, speak for that. I do want to play Gen 5 at some point. For sure. And maybe I should stream it. But, like, also, I kind of just want to play games just to play them for fun. Yeah, I saw people talking about the lighting. 
uh, on the models. Eh, like, I'll see when the game comes out. I just don't, I don't get why they don't, well, okay. I get why they don't just remake Platinum. Money, because there are two versions now. Ooh, some people will buy both. Ooh. But I, I, it, it would have been a lot cooler if we just had Platinum. Just had Platinum. Uh, like, don't worry if you don't keep up with my videos regularly. I like to think that a lot of my videos are evergreen. Like, I can throw it out and it just works. That's part of why I like making videos about older games, too, is that those videos tend to be evergreen. Uh, although, sometimes I do have a swing and a miss with, uh, that Portal Stories video of saying, like, yeah, and Valve is never gonna make another Half-Life game or a Portal game. And then, like, I think the day I released it, they announced Half-Life Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Which was incredible. <laughs> uh, I, I want to play more chill games. I've been playing a fuck ton of Apex Legends recently. How many hours do I have on Apex Legends on Steam? Oh god, I'm at 97. Jesus, that's too much. I, I gotta, I gotta tone it back. It's really fun, but also Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh, that's what I was gonna say. I've been, I've been doing a lot of Ring Fit recently. And the gamification of exercise works really well for me. I don't think it's for everyone, but having that structure in place and, like, being able to actively look at how much I've been exercising really, really, really helps. Quick, uh, start saying that more games won't come out, so they do. Okay, hang on. The Yakuza Ancient... Like, feudal Japan games will never be localized. The, and the fact that they'll never be localized saddens me so much. They're never going to... Titanfall 3 is far-fetched. It's absolutely not going to happen. Yakuza Ishin, thank you. Uh, uh, what's another one? They're never going to bring Leonard Nimoy back from the dead. He's dead, right? To make another Seaman. It's just not going to happen. And those are the three games. Sorry, those those are the three. That, that sorry, I only get three. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate that. It means a lot to me. Something Marina and I were thinking about doing, once she's feeling better, once her computer is um running better, is to stream. Well, we're gonna stream Skyward Sword when that comes out in July. Skyward Sword HD. That's absolutely happening. But also, I think Resi Four would be a fun stream to do. If y'all would be interested in that. It, it's such a fucking... It's fun, but it's such a stupid game. <laughs> it hasn't aged well in a lot of ways. I, it's such a dumb game, but it's fun. So... We shall see. There's also the zombie game, which I think did get localized, and it's on PS3. But, uh, only on PS3. I have a PS4. <sighs> well. Oh, that's right. It, Resi, isn't Resi 4 getting an HD re-release for some goddamn reason? Even though it's on, like, every platform and it looks fine. It's not... Modern, but it looks fine. Give me back my face. I, I think I have a fairly generic face, but I try to I try to work it. <laughs> Dead Souls, yes, that's the game. <sighs> I, I am having trouble just keeping up with the, the breakneck pace that content needs to be made on the internet in order to stay relevant. And it's, I'd say 50% burnout and 50% we're a year into a pandemic. 
and I still haven't been vaccinated. And one of the biggest things I used to de-stress was to go on walks and to go to restaurants to sit down. Haven't been able to do that on the reg. Well, I mean, haven't gone to restaurants in a fucking year. And I haven't been able to go for walks as often as I would like in order to just, like, get some fresh air and to clear my head. And, like, the, the fact that I, people are expected to, like, make... There's some people who make fucking daily, like, log content or let's play content. There are some people who make, like, a video every week. I can't keep up. I can't keep up. I can't stream every day. I used to stream every day. I can't keep... I can't do that anymore. It's so exhausting. How do people fucking do it? Like... I cannot stop myself from falling into, like, a depressive funk if I try to stream every day. It just gets to a point where I'm like, it doesn't matter, nothing matters, let's play some more Fortnite. I hear Ryu's in it now. I guess part of how people do it is that people who are popular while doing it make a fuck ton of money. And that can be the justification to them. But I am still struggling to pay bills. Not to mention also just doing fucking housework and shit. And trying to lose weight, trying to trying to stay healthy. It's okay not to stream every day. Yeah, I've been streaming streaming when I want to stream, streaming when I feel up to it. Uh, I've been trying to get into doing it more frequently, but not like regularly, just because I, I, I fucking can't, man. <sighs> I, I think a lot about how back during the payday era I would make like sometimes three, four videos a week. I would sometimes do videos daily during events. And I think the tipping point was the uh oh what the fuck is that movie called? The Quentin Tarantino movie Reservoir Dogs. That's it. The Reservoir Dogs heist. Uh, where I, I was working in and out on the video for that constantly. Uh, like, it released, I wanted to get the video out day of, and I had not seen the movie Reservoir Dogs. So I had on one monitor, Payday 2, that I was playing, and on the other monitor, I had the movie Reservoir Dogs that I was watching in order to understand what the fuck is happening. <laughs> and uh, eventually Austin came up to me and said, we're gonna go, th th again, this is back in like, what, 2018 or something? K came up to me and said, we're gonna go s to a restaurant and sit down and get some food because you haven't eaten anything. You woke up, played Payday, watched movie, make video. And I didn't want to do that. And then he convinced me and I, I absolutely needed it. I was a nervous fucking wreck. I came back, fucking breakneck pace, finished the video, released it, like, midnight or something, and went to bed. And then I woke up the next day and kept working on videos, and that was just my life, was wake up, edit, play, barely eat, sleep. And that was all I fucking did. And... Yeah, that's why I disabled the comments on those videos. It was so fucking obnoxious. You could be into my look without needing to be gay. <laughs> we'll come back to haunt them eventually. I mean, I, I was fucking anemic for a while there. Because uh, I wasn't eating. Because I was just making videos. <laughs> I, I, I developed extremely bad carpal tunnel from playing and writing scripts and editing constantly. Appreciate that. I have to do stretches regularly, which you should do anyways. But, like, I absolutely have to do them. I have to take painkillers regularly to keep my wrists from hurting constantly. And I can't, I can't go back to that pace. But that's the pace that's expected of you in the modern era of making things online. Like, you... You either have to stream every day or make multiple videos a week or both somehow 
uh, to stay relevant. Otherwise, you're going to get left behind. And I'm grateful that I got my foot in the door when I did, so I have a fucking Twitch uh, partnership, and I have uh, 10,000... 10,000... 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm, I have verified there. But all that shit can also get taken away from you if you don't maintain the breakne breakneck pace. Example is I'm no longer partnered on Discord because they added new policies to for Discord partners where you have to maintain a certain level of server growth. You need to have more and more and more people coming in, which is unsustainable, especially for a, say, an LGBT creator who, if they try to promote their Discord too much, will have people come in and post a bunch of Nazi imagery. Uh, but... Uh, I was not maintaining the pace they wanted me to maintain, and they removed my partnership. And there's, in theory, nothing to stop that from happening on Twitch or on YouTube, too. At some point, Twitch can just say, you're not streaming often enough, and when you do stream, you don't get enough viewers. So, bye-bye, there goes your partnership. Uh, and then I don't get fucking ad revenue anymore. Uh, and I, same thing could happen on YouTube, where... Eventually, like, hey, your your videos aren't getting enough views. We're going to go ahead and unverify you. And now your videos won't be promoted as often as they are, even though we claim verification on YouTube doesn't do anything. It absolutely does. Uh, here you go. You're, you're just screwed now. It can all be fucking taken away from you if you don't maintain the speed they expect of you. How's your book coming along? I, I, had a, I had a weird problem, because the book was, it was like, write what you know, and the book was about, like, anxiety and, and depression, but then I got on anxiety meds, <laughs> and now I, I'm feeling a lot better in general, so right around when I was like, I should really get back to writing that is also when the pandemic started, so, like... <laughs> It's so hard. I, I I have like, let me let me check, let me check how many pages I have written. A lot of it I would definitely redo now because I started writing this in 2019. But uh, let's see. Uh, is there not a page count? I thought there was a page count. Oh, there it is. Uh, I wrote, wrote 48 pages, uh, 18,000 words, which is way more than I thought I did. Jesus. I, I might, like, take some of the bits of that book and, like, narrow them down to just short stories and release it, because I, I think that might be an easier metric to release on. Hey, doing okay. Just talking about the press and shit, <laughs> as per usual. It's not been all fucking doom and gloom. This is just, like, the, the bad shit. I, if I wanted to highlight some of the good shit that's been happening, um, my parents are saints, and they use their tax return to pay off my taxes. So I don't... I'm not in debt to the IRS anymore, which is cool. Uh, had all my teeth fixed. I don't have a gap in my front teeth anymore. See? And uh, I got root canals on my molars here. And none of my teeth hurt anymore, which is great. And they look a lot better. Uh, I have been losing weight and getting in shape. I might be getting a line on starting HRT. I'm actually going to find out today if that's happening. Uh, by the way, I, I did want to talk about that for a second because when I said that, um, some people had questions about it. Um, I want to take estrogen to basically become more andro. Like, I... Some of the things that make me uncomfortable are things that I deal with every day and that there are things I don't want to deal with anymore, like body hair and just kind of the general shape of my body, uh, things like that. And I would like to be less masculine in certain regards, but I am still very much non-binary. I still think gender a fuck and I would not get, like, bottom surgery, for instance. I wouldn't do that. There is literally nothing wrong with doing that, for the record. Obviously not. Uh, but I personally don't feel like I need it, nor would I get it. Uh, so... 
Yeah, but again, I have an idea dump uh, text file. I was talking about that earlier for video ideas. And then uh, I pick and choose them. The uh... Let me look at my uh, recent videos and see which of these is uh, is one that came from that like back burner idea dump that I had. Your sister is a dental assistant. You can get free or cheap dental work. Oh, shit. Nice. Uh, let's see. Video ideas that I had on the back burner. Uh, the Shenmue video. Definitely. I had that on the back burner for a long fucking time. Uh, because Shenmue is an insanely long series to record. So, I did it. I knew that. I knew for a fact the Shenmue video was going to bomb. I knew it would. And it did. It only has 2.7k views. The video before it had 8.6, which still isn't good, but... Uh, I really wanted to make that video. I'm trying to see if there are uh, any videos that I thought were going to bomb that didn't. Uh, the Going Under review did pretty well, but that was also because I, I had an early access key, so I was able to release it the day the, vid uh, the game released. So, uh, that helped a ton. Uh, videos I thought were going to bomb that didn't. I guess the Portal video, the, the Portal Stories video, I didn't think it was going to do that well. You referenced that Shenmue vid in a college assignment? What? Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, it's like, uh... How do you put it? Like, almost like a mood board? You just kind of slap vague ideas of the kind of things you want onto somewhere where you'll remember it. Uh, and then you can look at it again for inspiration or just remembering ideas that you had later. Although I'm really bad about that because I'll chicken scratch things on my phone. Uh, and then I'll look later on my phone and be like, what the fuck does any of this mean? <laughs> I, I think I had one that said, uh, remember to talk about, uh, what was this for? It was for the Half-Life Alex video, I think. And it was, remember to talk about the visual comparison between virtual reality and reality reality. And that meant nothing to me. That meant nothing. I think it had something to do with graphics have to be more limited in VR because of the performance requirements. Uh, and as a result, it's harder to make things immersive. But fucking that, like, just that, that note meant nothing to me later. <laughs> I'm so bad about that. <sighs> yeah, like, as long as it's something you can reference back to later, it's good. <sighs> uh, but getting back to what I was saying... Uh, oh, hang on. I'm doing a games design course, and part of the assignment was narrative structure. You should move to as an example of a game with an interesting ending. And referenced your video as my source. Uh, what was Shenmue 2's ending again? Oh yeah, it was like a slightly open-ended, where you, where you, uh, just like the hour, of, hour, two hours of just walking and talking. <laughs> Best of luck, Stan. Yeah. I, I don't think I could get into game development. I think I would die if I got into game development. There, I have a lot of ideas for things I would want to do for games, but I I am already, like, when, when I work on a project, I burn, burn the candle at both ends already. I don't think I'd be able to do... Oh, I need some water shit to do game development. <sighs> better. <clears throat> I'm just glad I played through the Shenmue games, because I thought about getting um, uh, World of Long Plays footage for Shenmue 1 and 2, but it was all the original versions, and it would have looked like garbage! So I, I, I was able to record it at 2K, which helped. I'm glad I finally did that Doom Eternal video. Uh, because I got a 2K monitor because I wanted my videos to look better. And then I did 
Half-Life Alex, which I think recorded at 1080p, but I just upscaled to 2K. And then Going Under and Pedal Crash, both of which, like, the resolution, it's nice, but it doesn't really matter that much. And then Half-Life 2 episodes, and then Shenmue, and then Hades looks really good at 2K. But, like, the first game that, like, really benefited from having that, uh, uh, that upscale was Doom Eternal video, because... Uh, it's it's a modern game with a very fast paced movement, so the having the higher resolution and the higher bit rate on videos that have higher resolutions on YouTube uh, helped a ton. <sighs> well, that reminds me, we didn't get a uh, mystery dungeon game, did we? We had that, uh, that Red Rescue Team remake a little while ago, and I totally forgot about it. I think a lot of people forgot about it. Uh, and then, like, we haven't had a new Mystery Dungeon game since. How much? That game is full price, right? It's 60 bucks? I'm gonna go check something real quick. I wanna see if, uh, I don't remember if the Red Rescue Team streams were saved it, yeah like if that was back when i was still saving vods so i'm gonna i'm gonna go check out my vod channel real quick playlists yeah okay no red rescue team is still there i was thinking about streaming it but eh, i've already streamed red, red rescue team before yeah the the oldest stream i have saved is okami because i was recording it locally when i was uh when i was streaming uh, because I thought I was going to make a video or stream highlights for it. And then I stopped doing stream highlights. <laughs> so, uh, so I was, I just uploaded the, the, the local recordings I had. So they're actually pretty high quality as a result. Uh, but, yeah, uh, let's see, Ace Attorney, Metal Gear Solid, Minish Cap, ah, oh, hell yeah. I think the biggest disappointment of VODs I don't have saved would be the A Way Out streams. Those were great. It's a shame that I don't have those saved. But oh well. Ezreal, no worries. Take care. <sighs> oh shit. My throat. I might actually have to cut the stream soon because my, my, my throat is really dry and I have therapy in an hour and I, I don't want to be in pain the whole time on that. But I just kind of wanted to throw thoughts I had out there about how I can't keep up with, like, every day's a grind, 100, live your best life, get that content out there, make the algorithm happy, and we'll make sure you don't have to go homeless. Get that paper. Bread! I can't keep up with that shit. And I, I don't, I wouldn't want to. <sighs> it's so, it's so depressing to see creators try to work themselves to the bone in order to stay relevant. And there's also a lot of people who do it because they don't have a choice. And that's kind of a, a situation I'm in right now, except I've just like, not been able to get back into the swing of things where there are people who get started doing something they're really good at or something that's really popular or both and then once that thing passes once that fire dies say like you i was gonna use fortnite as an example but fortnite is still popular isn't it uh but like say you made videos about what was a game that was really popular and then stopped being really popular do games like that even happen anymore? Or maybe you try to get on the ground floor or something. Like, you were an Anthem, uh, like, uh, channel. And you did a bunch of Anthem videos. Oh, yeah. And then eventually it dies. And you're like, well, I quit my job in order to do this. And it worked for a couple of years. But now I can't, I can't keep up, keep up this pace anymore, and I would have to increase my pace further in order to make the same amount of money I was making before, 
on content that people aren't watching because they only wanted to see my fucking sweet ass Anthem trick shot vids. I have no idea what Anthem is or was. It's dead now. <laughs> and that's kind of where I'm, where I'm at right now. Where like if I wanted to make the same amount of money I used to make on, on Payday, I would have to make like three times the amount of videos I have been. That was part of why I released so many videos. Like I scatter shouted videos in December. I think I got four out, which is a lot for me recently, because none of those videos get as many views as as I could back then. But having more of them, first of all, is a higher chance for one of them to suddenly do well. But also, I can fucking pay rent next month. And I can't even just be like, fuck it, I'm gonna go find a normal job, because first of all, I'm disabled. I any loud noises or high-pitched sounds or a bright flashing light and oops 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 i'm unconscious now but also we're still in a fucking pandemic and i still haven't got fucking stimulus and i'm not gonna get stimulus oh good christ okay i'm just getting mad now and it's been about an hour i'm gonna call this stream capitalism is the death of of society thank you all for watching and listening to me rant Yeah, if I can figure out another Half-Life video to make, I might do it just to try and get views on something positive. But I've kind of run out of stuff to talk about with Half-Life. But, whatever. We'll see. Uh, I think on Sunday I'm gonna try and stream a video game. I don't know what. I'll figure it out. See you all then. Take care.